Um, it's been a while. <laughs> if you're wondering where I've been, I don't have answers. I more of just took a break from making videos. I tried making videos, it just didn't really work out well. Um, two, sorry for the lighting. Um, there isn't great lighting in here. <laughs> um, and three, um, my posting schedule. <laughs> So, I'm not going to be posting every Friday like I wanted to. Instead, I'm going to be posting every other Friday or at least every other week because school's coming up and yeah, I think that's it. Well, on to the video. <laughs> this is probably going to be the last video, obviously the last video of uh, July. Um, and, um... I'm gonna try and post this either Tuesday or Wednesday, not sure when, but I'm gonna try and post this as like quickly as I can. I like the fact that I just grabbed something because I wanted to hold something. <laughs> but yeah, so this is going to be kind of a, a um, <laughs> haul of um, pretty much just an art, uh, an art supply haul. Everything I got from like my local art store. Um, and I will um, reveal what, like, how much I spent at the end of the video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get into it. This. <laughs> um, so I am horrible at drawing circles, as many other people are. Um, but I also specialize, not really specialize, but you know, I draw a lot of portraits and, um, a lot of eyes and a lot of things that just revolve around circles and um whenever i draw a circle i just draw round things over and over and over again until i have something that kind of resembles a circle and then i go on um <clears throat> but i thought it'd be easier if i would just buy a circle template and with this i can also use the side as a straight line slash ruler thing not really a ruler, there isn't anything, you know, whatever. But yeah, so I got this, um, I should put that there. Um, the next thing I got was this Be Creative, um, Mixed Media, uh, sketchbook. Um, I got this, and it's like 93 pounds. I got this because, um, I usually draw, like, in class. Don't do what I do. I barely pay attention in class. But I mainly draw in class because it does help me out a lot. And I do draw a lot of things that I'm very proud of in class. Um, you know that like cherry blossom scene that I drew um, like two months ago, two-ish months ago, um, or posted two-ish months ago? Um, I actually drew the, um, I actually drew that during class, but uh, I just put it on another piece of paper and like altered it a little bit. Um, so yeah, I got this, it's 50 sheets, I will like, 50 sheets isn't really enough for me to go through like the entire school year. This probably will last me at least a semester, I don't know, but I got this. Um, and I would have gotten toned gray, but I decided not to. I decided not to get a toned paper, a uh, toned sketchbook, because, yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing I got was um, a seven pack of 12 by 12 um, canvas. Um, this is by Alt uh, Art, sorry, Art Alternatives, and it's a stretched canvas. Um, and listen i tried let's have a heart to heart here i tried canvas board gesso board but i don't really find the appeal to them i'm someone who's all about like texture i guess um and um i like the fact that this is kind of movable i'm s coming after you super atizzle but i like uh it's not a good idea <laughs> I like the fact that this is semi-bouncy, um, and, like, movable. I don't know why, I don't have answers, I just, I like it, I like it. <laughs> um, I like it a lot better than, like, gesso board and can- uh, and canvas board. I've said canvas- I said board too much today. 
Um, so, yeah. Someday, um, when I get a better camera, uh, that has a lot more space, I will be posting a video, um, of me just, like, a speed paint of me, like, painting, like, using, uh, oil paint or acrylic, because it takes me a long time to paint things. That's not scenery. Scenery is taking me, like, an hour or two. But anyway, next thing I got. So that was my, uh, not really dry media. It's more of, like, surfaces, I guess. Um, next thing I'm gonna go for is dry mediums. Well, erasers. So, <laughs> I got three erasers, and you'll see a lot of Tombow, I say a lot, it's more of just two things of Tombow, because I really like Tombow. <laughs> um, this is the um, Tombow Mono Eraser, uh, Mono Zero Eraser, um, uh, with the refill. Um, I just got this because I was curious. Um, Precise tip eraser removes only what you need. Cool, professional quality. Okay, well, now I know. <laughs> um, so I got this, um, and I also uh, got, I don't even know how you pronounce this, the Mars Eraser <laughs> by that brand. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that. I know it's a German brand. I, uh, I've also tried their pencils when I was, like, a couple of years back, and I really like them. I really like these- I, I really like this brand. The next thing I got, the last razor I got, was, um, a Prismacolor Art Gum, uh, eraser. Or, um, a plastic eraser- not plastic, rubber eraser. Um, yeah, I just got three things of erasers, um, uh, cause I- needed a, a, a single eraser. I needed um, this eraser, the um, rubber eraser, but I ended up going overboard. <laughs> um, next thing I got was um, uh, the General's uh, Pencil Extender. Yeah, there isn't much to say about this. It's just I'm running, uh, my pencils are getting like fairly low. I don't even know if you like can replace this. I think you can. Anyway, um, and I just saw a lot of art YouTubers using this and I was like, why not try it? <laughs> um, then I got, I'm actually gonna save this for last week. <laughs> uh, then I got the Black Wing Pro Pencil. Um, they're actually, we were actually selling this. My local art store was, um, selling this and I was like, oh, I've seen so many, like, art, uh, YouTubers review this pencil and they really they really like it so why not try it um and i saw that they were three dollars per pencil and i was like i'll get it <laughs> um they did have the other one but uh this was supposed this is supposedly softer so i'm going with this <laughs> um then uh i got the tombow and the last tombow um <laughs> I should I should be able to pronounce this. Uh, I'm taking a Japanese course. I should I should do this. I should I should be able to do this. Fudenosuke, suke, food, fudenosuke. Jeez, fudenosuke. Brush pens. <laughs> I've seen a lot of artists use these, um, especially Jadza, as like um, a fine liner and not just brush. Uh, this is for calligraphy, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I searched high and low for this in like um, where the Tombow uh, brush pens are being sold, and I was like, oh no, they don't have them. And they have, um, my local art store has like the calligraphy and Sumi. Um, like little area and i realized wait tombo like their pens are actually like calligraphy so i was looking high low and i found them and i was like <gasps> just pure joy um and the last things i got which is also the most things i got i got a bunch of oil paint things so i got 
um, palette knives because um, I only have one palette. I only had one palette knife, now I have four. Um, and it's like this diamond one, but it's a little longer and it's by Liquitex and not RGM. <laughs> um, and yeah, originally I was just gonna buy this, like just the single thing of uh, the slanted one. Um, so I can make mountains, but then I was like, I mean, the single one is $10, this is $26 for three. That's a good deal. <laughs> um, so I got that. I also got a brush, uh, a square brush. There isn't much to this, it's just a square brush. Um, I was going to get a pack um, of like oil paint brushes. But they only had um, packs of like the mixed media ones that didn't include oil paint. So it's mixed media in the fact that like um, you can use uh, those brushes with um, acrylic, watercolor, and tempera. You couldn't use them with oil paint, which is sad. <laughs> so I got this. Um, I was gonna get more, but I decided not to. I should have gotten more, but I decided not to. <laughs> um, then I got um, restocks of um, acrylic paint, not oil paint. So I needed, this is completely beaten up now, <laughs> I needed um, white, yellow, and red, and I got white, yellow, and red um, in the same brand, um, M. Graham & Co. Whatever. Um, and it's uh, cad cadmium, cadmium red. <laughs> Uh, Naples yellow, I got cadmium yellow last time. They didn't have cadmium yellow, so Naples yellow <laughs> um, and titanium white. <laughs> I can't say white because it makes me feel stupid. Um, sorry, Bob Ross. I have a plush of Bob Ross off camera. <laughs> um, then I got the thing that I did not get that um, I spent like five minutes just contemplating if I should get it because I was worried about all the labels, uh, all the warning and precaution labels. Um, I got uh, Orderless Paint Thinner in the same uh, in the brand of Speedball, which is the same brand that I believe Super Ray Dizzle uses. Um, you can see a lot of things that um, I got because of Super Ray Dizzle. I wanted to get an electric eraser. I know. Uh, I'm fairly certain the first time I went to Nevada Fine Arts, oh, I told you where it's where it is. The first time I went to Nevada Fine Arts, um, I saw the electric eraser, and I was like, "Oh, I'll get that next time." I didn't, and I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I found a lot of Japanese erasers, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> um, because I find that Japanese erasers are a lot better than American erasers. <laughs> um, but anyway, a lot of other, like, Im a lot of imports are actually better than American. Anyway, they did have, um, like, the gallon or the quartz, I think. Um, this is a pint. They had the quartz and the gallon. Uh, the quart was like thirteen dollars. This is a pint. Um, I didn't realize how small, uh, how big a quart was until I was buying these. Um, and I saw a, a pint, and I was like, that has to be a quart. It's a pint. <laughs> um, and the last thing I got um, because I was running very dangerously low on um, was well, is linseed oil. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's by Grumbacher. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I would have gotten- I forgot to get Gesso- well, I didn't forget to get Gesso. Um, I wanted to get Gesso and, um, like, uh, Varnish. I wanted to get Varnish, but, um, uh, gesso and varnish, and I also wanted to get a hand mannequin, but I decided that um, it was better if I would just wait <laughs> um, and not spend like thousands of dollars right now. Um, and also, the hand mannequin was thirty dollars. Even the tiny one was thirty dollars. They were a dollar apart. <laughs> um, yeah. So 
all together, I spent... Well, I didn't spend it. It was more... I got, like, a student discount. Um, but it was 90... 190... 193 dollars? Yeah, 193-ish dollars. Um, then I got the student discount and it went down to 178 dollars. Um, but I... If I got, if I got that hand mannequin, or like, um, uh, the gesso and prime, not primer, the gesso and, um, varnish, it would have been over $200. <laughs> so, um, this was almost $200. I had to stop myself from, uh, like, wanting to get Sumi, because I really want to try Sumi, but, yeah. <laughs> Um, the most expensive thing I got was the palette knives. Yes, the palette knives. The palette knives were, um, 20, $24.95, and the second, um, most expensive thing that I got was, um, the Mixed Media Art Journal, um, which was $23.99. Uh, so yeah, if you live in the um, Reno e region of um, Nevada, I very much recommend going to Nevada Fine Arts. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. Um, expect a couple speed paints from me later on um, in the year. I will try and post at least. I want to post at least five videos, in, um, not five, ten videos until the uh, month end, not the month, the year ends, because I want to step up my game, um, no matter how many times, and I'm sorry to like my um, subscribers that um, follow me on Twitter, uh, by the way, go follow my Twitter, go ahead and follow, uh, go and follow my Twitter if you want to see a couple updates, um, I don't update a lot, but yeah. Um, I will also be doing kind of, um, a couple videos, um, of me in a hotel, and if, uh, I do end up posting those videos, because I don't know if I'm going to be drawing or not, but if I do end up posting those videos, or if they just become, like, kind of vlogs, then, um, if I do end up posting those videos, then good for me, <laughs> I'm actually posting. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I should actually draw something, um, or like check out and like test a couple of these things. That'd be a nice video, testing out things, testing out a couple of these. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I should also do like a sorting video of me putting everything away, um, and sorting my little art area, which is a mess right now. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching, um, next time you see me, I'm probably going to have this wall painted and decorated, because I don't look like an art channel without paintings on this wall, um, and on this wall. That'd be cool, like a huge painting here, but not on the wall, because we're renting. Um, I could also, I could also do... Crystal Hall, because I live near a crystal shop. <laughs> I'm thinking too much about everything I want to post. Um, this is an art channel. This is an art channel, Leo. Art channel. <laughs> um, stop it. <laughs> I should do a day note in my life. I That would be incredibly boring. <laughs> my life legitimately consists of me either on the computer or in bed. <laughs> nothing else me going up every once in a while to eat and drink coffee but that's it um but yeah uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye hopefully i'll post next month